I hope you guys are spreading positivity and being nice to people. I also hope you guys are pulling the champions that you guys want. If you guys have not considered subscribing, maybe you guys want to. I'm not going to for- for- force you to, but it is free. But let's go ahead and jump right into the pulls. So welcome back, Salty Village. This is your boy Salty back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And we are going to go ahead and just jump right into the Ancient Shard Summons. I have 45. Actually, I'm going to start with the Void Shard. You guys came here for the shards. I'm going to give you the shards. The person that I want is literally only Royal Guard. If I get anything better than that, I will be totally happy. But I just want a Royal Guard. That's like the main champion that I just want. I just know my luck. What do we have? All right, so I'm going to do the five normal summons of just flat out, and then we will go into, uh, oh, I got our lane. That's not that bad. I can put her into some books. Another rare. It's an apothecary? That's, that's actually, like, that's crazy. Like, I didn't need him. Now I don't really need him because he's booked out, but now I got three of them. I wonder what I could do with three of them. That'd be so interesting to find out. I don't, I've never pulled this dude, so I don't even know who he is, but he sucks. He looks like he will be a chicken. We have Babarder. And then this will be our last single pull, then we'll go see, oh. <laughs> Jotun, that's not that bad. I already have one. He, he, I, I, I used to use him for clan boss. Who knows, I might be able to figure out how to use him again. He doesn't have no books, but now he has a book. You're looking at it. So we have 39 free spots. No, we do not. We have 29 free spots with 40 shards. Okay, so I might have to just crunch some stuff here, too. So we're going to go jump right into the 10. And, hey, you guys have it at, at, at this point. Like the video because I'm out here just another Elaine. I'm out here trying my best. Look at this garbage, garbage, garbage. I didn't even get a, uh, I didn't even get a, whatchamacallit, an epic. Is it double chances? You gotta make sure. Yeah, it's double chances. Do this one more time and then, of course I gotta crunch stuff. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It skipped right past the epics. It just went straight legendary. So let's look at what he is. It is a dark elf. I get a lot of dark elves. How you say his name? Astralith? Astralith. So attacks one enemy. Fills the turn meter of a random ally. By 15% fills the turn meter of all allies. By a further 15% if this attack is critical. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go straight to the Ascendant skill. Attacks one enemy, places a bomb debuff that detonates after one turn. Just one turn? Gosh dang, that's quick. Then, let's see. It's a passive effect. Well, the second part is a passive effect, so... On a five turn cooldown booked out. <laughs> exchanges remaining HP levels with a target enemy. That attack... Then attacks... With a default skill, cannot be used on a boss. So that it so it, it will attack. So exchange remaining HP levels with the target it en enemy. Okay, then attacks with a default skill. So an attack with this skill again cannot be used on bosses. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, passive effect gains an extra turn and decreases the cooldown of this skill by three turns if this champion's HP drops below twenty percent when attacked. Okay. It's a speed for arena. Okay, so that's not that bad. So, uh, hey, I'll take it. Design looks nice. All that looks nice. I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain about that. And we got a Kale, a Darth Aethel, a, a regular Aethel. This, that that's an interesting pool right there. We got 20 more left, and I gotta. Of course, then to go with the stuff. I gotta go make that to go with the stuff. So I gotta go in here and make some room. Okay, and we're back. We made some room, we crunched some numbers, and we have some spots left with a few more poles. 
So we're going to go jump right back up into it. We just got done pulling an amazing champion, I believe. We're going to go over him again and look at his uh, what people recommend with him. So we jump right into it. We get the Berserker, Bone Knight, another Skull Crusher, Ironclad. Like, who we get here? Vergus. Oh, I wish that was a Royal Guard so bad. So that one wasn't too bad. See if we can end on a lucky legendary. Let's see if we can end on it. So we start out with that. Okay, he's actually a pretty good support character. Trey. Valerie Chaplin. Okay. Okay. And uh, we don't get one. All right, so all, all, all in all, not too bad of a uh, summoning. I actually still want to know what you guys got for your guys' sum for your summonings. I'm still working on my um, Firelight team that is going to ultimately be a lot of my dungeon team. That's the main reason why I want a Royal Guard because right now I'm using the budget version of Armor Girl and I have I just finally got my Cold Heart so I'm building I just built her to level 60. Um, other than that, I'm trying to build a all rare team for that so be on the lookout for that video. But we will go here to look at him. He just looked dope out of all of them. Just that look. That look is dope. <laughs> People say, okay, so he is trash. <laughs> oh, he is trash. He is trash bags. That's wild. I thought he was a good person. Okay, so he's only good in the arena. Now I can see why. It's because of all this stuff. Yeah. That his speed is for arena, yeah, it makes sense. He's only good at arena. He'll be in the vault for a long time. Um, <laughs> so um, that's who we got there. See if we got any other good pulls. I think it was just him. Every, everybody else, nothing really to brag and go home for. Pulled her. Or I mean, pulled him. Pulled him. I already have one of him. Did did I pull a lore? I can't remember if I pulled one in, 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 in this one, but I know I pulled this dude, and I know I didn't have him. He's good in what campaigns, it was a, a little bit of clan boss. He's not good in any of the dungeons, except for, like, Ice Golem and Sea Water real quick, and then I'll let you guys go. Reflect damage, a continuous heal buff, and all that. It, is, uh, but I'm guessing it's random. Place a 50% continuous heal buff, a 50% buff, of, a 30% reflect damage buff on a target ally for three turns. Also places a 50% ally protection buff on the tar on the target ally for three turns. Okay, so it's targeted. I like it when it gives it to all the champions. Places a 50% heal buff on this champion. I'm not really a big fan of stuff like that either. So, honestly, pull a pull. Pull the legendary. Can't be mad at that. You can never be mad at that. But you can't be mad at the fact that he sucks. Um, <laughs> and for someone who doesn't put a crap ton of money into the game, he's never going to get booked anytime. He's not going to get booked anytime soon. So, or even leveled up. So, we'll just leave it at that. And I will be working on my mostly rare teams. And I'll be getting that back out to you. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free. It helps me out. We're almost to 100 so a subscribers. I can't wait to see if we can hit that. And just like always, lead by example. That's going to be my new phrase. Lead by example. That's what the LBX stands for. And I'll see you guys on my next Raid Shadow Legends video. Peace.